I was not intending to remark on the supposed structures uh, in the bedrock below Khafre's pyramid, but so many people have been asking me about it. I thought I would shed a little light on the matter by looking at it through the geological perspective. Certainly it would be exciting if that was real. However, tipping my hat to Carl Sagan, uh, I've got to agree that uh, extraordinary claims require extraordinary proofs. And so I would definitely be requiring uh, some serious evidence uh, over and above what I've seen so far. And with that in mind, uh, I think what I'm going to do, though, is talk about what could be possible. Let's assume that the, the synthetic aperture radar images are not doctored in any way. It does appear that some kind of a structure exists. But the ambiguity of the images precludes any conclusion as to whether these apparent images or structures are natural or man-made. I'm biased towards the natural. That would seem to suggest the possibility or probability that there would be uh, cavities within the limestone bedrock of the Giza Plateau. But what we want to look at is the climate over the region of Egypt and its nearest neighbor, Libya, to the west, and in fact, for that matter, the whole Sahara Desert. We don't have to go back too many thousands of years uh, when we get to the point where it is in a desert. In fact, it's all, almost lush. Biogeography of the Sahara explain the peopling, the peopling of the desert. During the Holocene humid period, the region contained a series of linked lakes rivers and inland deltas comprising a large interlinked waterway channeling water and animals into and across the Sahara thus facilitating these dispersals. The system was last active in the early Holocene when many species appear to have occupied the entire Sahara Desert and see what this may imply as far as the question of could there be or could there not be structures under the Giza Plateau and under the pyramid complex?